I've been an accountant for, for 20 years, my own practice for, for 14. Um, and during that time, I've also been an entrepreneur, whether it was part-time at some stage and now it's full-time, but always had an entrepreneurial side in me as well. So I was always involved in other businesses apart from my accounting practice. And one of them was, was a very big failure in 2010. A uh, very massive one, uh, really went to dark place, actually writing, busy writing my first book now, and it's all going into be there, and it's actually very deep, and it helped me to also to, you know, the effort tool that kind of released the emotions, so that was a really good way for me also to release some, some emotions about whatever happened during that time, but that process learned me a lot about the fact that, you know, money is very important, but it mustn't be your number one. Even Carmichael always say, it must be in your top five, but it mustn't be your number one. Your purpose must, must be your, your, your force that drives you forward, your ikigai, I like to call it, need to drive you forward and not money. Um, if, whenever I see, I work a lot with entrepreneurs and when I see, whenever I see that they, the biggest motivator is money, they generally fail. Because I mean, you can only be so motivated with money for so long. Whenever it comes to like a roadblock in your in your way, it becomes difficult because you're not motivated because you can't stand up for something bigger than yourself, um, like your ikigai, like your purpose, which drives you to the point where you want to to go to. And like you know, it's always there was no there was never ending point. It's always a process. It's never like like Robin Sharma would say, it's not never a process. Always, it's never an event. It's always a process. 